Hi guys, it's uh, Dave from Watch Brew Nuke here, and uh, we're going to do a review of the Wilco's Sweet Mickey Brown that we brewed. Uh, if you remember, we did this with a uh, obviously a tin of Wilco's Sweet Mickey Brown, um, 500 grams of spray malt, and 700 grams of brown sugar. Uh, to that, just to spice it up a little bit. Uh, we added 12 grams or we used 12 grams of Golden's Hops and uh, we ended up with a starting gravity of 1040. Give us a, a beer of about 4%. Um, now, let's get the, uh, the paws on. Whoosh. Right, so. Right, so we're going to give it a paw. Put it in the jug like I normally do. Just gonna put it straight in the glass. Try and put the glass at the same time. I can't really hear them. Check the camera and we'll have a bit of a bear look. Right, so here's the sweet looking brown pod. I want to see how dark. I want to get up to the camera a little bit, but you can see it's pretty dark, it's like a very dark red. Very dark red, but it's uh carbonate it quite well plays with the carbonation it's uh, I don't know if you can get a bit of a see on there no it's quite it's quite frothy like a milky froth um I've got to admit it's probably the best froth <laughs> I've had on a beer so work that one out so it's a very tight knit bubble, so it does look like a like cream. So I'm pleased about that. Um, so time for the nose. Can't really see. I have uh, can smell the golden's hops, but I did only use twelve grams. faint but not I think if you uber hopped it then probably be a bit better but uh, it's probably the same amount of hops as you will get in a pub pint so I'm not too fussed so let's go for the taste test cheers actually That's quite nice. Four percent that came out at. Um, so I've got a reading of ten forty. Um, starting gravity. Uh, left in the fermenter for ten days, then into bottles for when well, usually about thirty days, but. Been quite quite a while since I, I bottled these, so I think these were in I think it might be even two months. Two months in the bottle of these ones. So I always leave it a month anyway, and then I get a good uh, really good taste with that. That is really good. I'm impressed with that. For one can kit. I did add, add the um the spray malt. So 
that obviously beefs it up a bit but to give you some sort of idea um for those who don't know or maybe in the us this wilkinson kit wilkinson's is a, uh, basically a store in the uk that um sell all sorts of stuff but they've got a, a homebrew section and they do their own homebrew kit as well as others this retail is at 10 pound 10 uk pounds and if you it, it, they do certain deals where if you get the kit for a tenner you get a free bag of brewing sugar one kilogram brewing sugar now although i don't brew beer with just a kilogram of brewing sugar you could do that and get 40 pints i think it works out about 20 odd pence a pint i want to work that out I'll put out here how much it is a pint, but whatever it is, it's very, very cheap. I think this is like 30 pence. It works out as 30 pence a pint for this. So if you're hard pushed to find a yeah, home brew in the UK for 10 quid, and hard pushed to find any pub anywhere that has beer for like 20 pence a pint, which means on my two litre bottles that... Uh, I feel that's like less than a quid for four pints and I'm actually quite impressed with not only the taste but with the, the head and the head retention and a nice bit of uh, a nice bit of mason so that's a shocker so I wouldn't mind doing one of these if you got them one thing i will say is that these kits are the cans whereas uh, the munton's kits and the cooper's kits are 1.8 kilograms these are only 1.5 kilograms so you get a bit a little bit less for the 40 pounds so the way around that is either brew short so instead of doing 20 uh, instead of doing the 40 pints or 24 litres or 23 litres sorry do 20 litres uh, or do what I did add some spare malt or maybe get two sweet nookie brown kits and put them in one and it'll even taste even better that is actually quite good I'm, I'm actually <laughs> impressed with that so uh, for £10 you can't go wrong but you'd have to leave it for at least a month and use some spare malt. I don't know what this would taste like if you just did it with um, sugar. Maybe it's not as good. Right, so. But, uh, yeah. um, taste. After my little ramble. It is malty. It's got like a a little bit of a like a, a tangy aftertaste but very very subtle but uh, most of it malty not gonna expect much from a, a beer that's at this price but um, I don't know if I can zoom in to the, uh, I don't know if I can focus here. Can you? No. What a pile of poop. I might get a bit better there. I don't know if you can see the bubbles rising. Constantly forming a head. So back in so impressed very impressed with this one shockingly impressed so that's the uh, Wilco's Sweet Nookie Brown that's it <laughs>